So, as you can see, ultra settings. We are getting a very, very nice 60 FPS right now, right above 60 FPS. Just by turning that on, we just gained 40 FPS, you guys. That is the kind of jump that I was wanting to see in our previous videos. Welcome back, Space Adventurers, for another Starfield Benchmarks video. Now, in our last two videos, we took care of the minimum required specs for this game. Had some fun findings there. If you guys saw that video, if you didn't, I'll have it linked or I'll have it put it up here or something like that. And then our most recent one, we did the recommended specs PC, which that video was kind of weird because we had a completely different PC, uh, upgraded specs from the minimum specs and really saw not much change in our FPS numbers. So what I decided to conclude this whole thing and round it all out, we need to use my high-end PC and actually benchmark that and see what kind of performance you can get from a higher end PC sporting a Ryzen 7 5800X 3D and a RTX 4070 Ti. And yes, we will test this with the DLSS G mod so you can actually take advantage of frame generation and all that good stuff. We'll do it with it and without it in this video and see what we can get even with a higher tier PC. No, I don't have a 4090 or anything like that, but I feel like a 4070 Ti is still high enough that we're gonna get some pretty good numbers, hopefully. But this is Starfield, and from what we've seen in the past couple of videos, we really don't know what's gonna happen. So let's hear a word from our sponsor and we'll hop right into it. With VIP URCD key, you can install and activate Windows for only 16 bucks. Hey, that's pretty good. It's fast, easy, and 100% legit. You can now enter my new promo code for 2023, RAV25, which will now save you 25% on your purchase. So get rid of that Windows activation watermark and get your system activated today. It also works for Windows 11 as well. Check the links in the description. Okay, before we hop into benchmarking, let's go ahead and talk about the PC that I have behind me that we're gonna be using for our benchmark. So of course, for Starfield, you wanna make sure you have at least a Windows 10 or Windows 11 enabled computer with the most recent updates. Also, make sure that your graphics card is updated to the most recent uh, drivers as well. All right, and let's talk about the CPU we're gonna be using today. So the CPU, like I said in the intro, is the Ryzen 7 5800X 3D, which is still an amazing gaming CPU, a lot more valued now because it has dropped in price, and uh, it should do well, really well, for this PC to be able to play this game at 1440p, and even 4K, depending on what graphics card you have. And then for RAM, we're gonna be supporting, well, my PC has way too much RAM in it. I honestly don't even need all of it. It right now has like 96 gigabytes of RAM. I don't need any of it. I just used that when it was an editing PC. Uh, I honestly could bring it down to 32 gigs of RAM and it'll be totally fine for any game. So don't even worry about that. Really, just, just pretend it has 32 gigs in it and, it and it'll be fine. Now, moving on to the graphics card, we're gonna be using, like I said, an NVIDIA RTX 4070 Ti from PNY. Now, this is a really awesome card and it gets amazing frame rates in a lot of the games that I play. And I play all my games at 1440p. So that's what we might mainly be testing today. And uh, we may even step it up to 4K and see if we can actually play there too. But really, I wanna see what kind of numbers we'll get at 1440p, because that's really what this card is made for. It's made for high refresh rate at 1440p gaming. Now, we also do, because this game does require an SSD, we have it installed on an NVMe SSD. So from my experience playing the game, loading times have been amazing. Uh, it does not have a really long loading time for any of the you know cutscenes between going into doorways and things like that. It loads very, very fast. So just like the last couple of videos, I highly suggest you putting this game on an NVMe SSD if you can. All right, guys, so we're on our main setup and we're just about ready to go ahead and start benchmarking. But one thing before I get started, just like last time, this time we did download the uh, DLSS mod here, replacing FSR2, but this time with the DLSS G. So to get this thing to work, it's very simple. All you gotta do is download a couple of things right here. Make sure you got this streamlined folder on your desktop uh, or in your folder for Starfield EXE is, and then you just gotta get these two DLLs right here, the DLSS DLL and then the DLSS G DLL. Make sure they're in that streamlined folder. You can get all the downloads from this page right here. The mod author provides it all. So Big thank you to uh, Luke FZ for making sure that we're all taken care of, especially as NVIDIA users. So we're good to go right now. We got this, we got the mods good to go. So we're ready to hop into the game and uh, see what we can do. All right, you guys. So now we are in the game again, the exact same place that we used uh, with both our previous videos in Aquila City here. And we are in the exact same starting place with our little friend there as always. So first of all, let me go ahead and show you guys our 
settings that we're going with right now. Like you can see, 2560 by 1440. And then we also got this on a basically a high preset. I think FSR2 is on, so that means DLSS is on. Let's turn this all off right here. So we want ultra settings, no, no, no frame generation, no render resolution scale, nothing crazy. Let's go ahead and go back. Just nothing. Just ultra settings right now and see what we can get at 1440p with this setup right here. So as you can see, ultra settings, we are getting a very, very nice 60 FPS right now, right above 60 FPS. And as you can see, if you look at the 4070 Ti and the 5800X 3D, way different from the past couple tests where we were seeing the CPU and GPU both working hard to make this game work. But right now on full ultra settings, on the ultra preset right now, no, no DLSS on nothing. Uh, we're able to hit a solid 60. I'm not gonna make it a big thing to say everything looks super super nice because you guys already know that This is a uh, you know this this game is a huge game It's a lot going on and with this kind of hardware You're obviously gonna be able to play it at 60, but that's kind of crazy that even at just 1440p it, it, All I'm able to hit is 60 right now with this kind of hardware. It's, it's it looks very very nice Let me go ahead and get you into an interior again. We always start with this. Let's go head into an interior and uh, you'll see loading times right here very quick gets us right in there and we're we're good to go so this so inside of here i'm expecting to see obviously another 10 fps or so just like last time and uh yeah and everything looks great though like at ultra settings this game looks amazing like i like look at this look at the level of detail in the characters just you know the the depth of field everything just everything looks good you can see all the detail and everything i love it and that's kind of what we're here to show, showcase in this video that if you have higher end hardware um even if you're not getting like, you know, in other games where you're expecting like, you know, 160 FPS or 165 maxing out your your monitor, it's still a very nice looking game and you really only need over 60 in a game like this to have a good experience. And that's pretty much what you're going to get. All right, with that all in mind, 1440p ultra, we're getting above 60. It, it dropped below it a tad just depending on what's going on. I'm sure if we got into a fight, maybe it would as well um if we put v-sync on it would probably look really really good no screen tearing nothing let's go ahead and graphics preset let's go from ultra we could probably play this on high as well and just and, and be doing totally fine i'm not even gonna mess with any of the other settings let's leave it on ultra but let's go ahead and render resolution scale let's do the let's do dlss and do 85 like we were doing uh on our other test so 85 with dlss on um and we'll see what that looks like so obviously i have film grain turned off because i don't really like it very much so let's go ahead and do that and test that out at 1440p and you can see with dlss on it in frame generation it look like the sharp it looks I think it looks better like this looks great like look how smooth that looks like this the, the blur and everything looks great look at look at the level of detail on this character right here I think it looks awesome um, for me I like a bit of sharpening and now we're hitting easily over 100 FPS in a lot of places here out in this big city so and there's a bunch of people walking around right now, right now too so just by turning that on, we just gained 40 FPS, you guys. That is the kind of jump that I was wanting to see in our previous videos um, with, with the uh, with the upscalers and everything. But it seems like with this level of hardware, this is when, in a 40 series card, this is when DLSSG and everything actually makes a huge difference. Because now, if, if I'm getting over 100 FPS in a game like this, guys, honestly, I'm I'm absolutely fine with it this game has so much stuff going on there is there's people everywhere there's just detail all over the screen right here and and it's getting over 100 fps that's amazing and then if we go into interior i'm sure i'll hit even higher than that all right so inside of an interior as everything loads yeah we're getting another see like in interiors now we're getting an additional what, like 30 f 40 50 like oh my god like okay with people around is it back to 100 again okay so that, yeah obviously character models they they hurt your fps quite a bit but yeah i mean even even staring at these two gals right here we're getting 110 so we got an, an extra 10 fps or so something like that so yeah it's looking really really great even with this dlss on so what i'm thinking we do i think maybe we try to test this at 4k as well okay so i think we got it to run at 4k right here we're doing graphics preset ultra uh with the upscaling ter oh turned off no i can't turn it off okay yeah it's doing this weird windowed thing where i can't really yeah i can't mess with anything and if i do it crashes the game so Let's just try, let's just try, I guess we'll try 4K since I can't mess with it. Let's do 4K at 85% now at ultra settings and let's see what it, let's see what happens. 
And look at that. We're getting above 60 at 4K. Ultra settings. That, that's good to know. If I had a 4K screen, I actually could play this game at 4K with DLSSG on and get over 60 and, be, and have like a probably very, very nice experience with this kind of hardware. So this is basically, this is gonna, this is gonna lead us to our conclusion, guys. You guys don't need to see more than this. So in conclusion, everybody, I don't know, man. What Todd Howard said, it, it wasn't even a joke. When he said, you're gonna have to upgrade your PC to play this game. Uh, you're gonna have to have an over $2,000 computer like I got right here, or close to $2,000, whatever you wanna call it, maybe $1,800 if you look for deals, uh, to be able to play this game at 4K, um, over 60 FPS. And you also have to download a DLSS mod to be able to get that to work like that, because if you turn it off, you guys saw I was hitting like, I, well, actually, no, you guys didn't see it. It's right, because it wouldn't work. But before I turned DLSS on, it was like 40 or something like that. So DLSSG helps a lot. That's the main main thing we can take away from this video. If you have a 40 series card, you're going to be doing really well in this game. Like Even if you have a mid-tier, like a 4060, 4060 Ti, I'm sure DLSS will really, really help you out in this game. So my recommendation, if you're kind of shopping around trying to build a PC to play Starfield and like maybe some other games, I would say maybe shell out a little extra money for that 40 series card so you can take advantage of that technology. Or if you're looking to just play this game, maybe use one of the AMD cards because they're a really great value and they play this game exceptionally well. I just don't have those on hand. I only have my, my really high-end 4070 Ti. But anyway, guys, let me know down in the comments what you thought about this. Let me know what you think about my uh, little video series here and these three videos on Starfield. And if there's anything else you guys want me to test with this game, uh, especially if there's like new updates, you guys want me to test the performance and everything. But anyway, that's gonna do it for this one, everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed once again. And uh, I will catch you guys later. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you guys wanna see some more tech content, and I'll catch you later. See ya.